Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about writing to files in Ruby. One of the cool things about Ruby is we can read files, but also we can write files. So I can actually write information out to a file and I can do that right inside my program. So in the last tutorial, we talked a little bit about reading files. So we kind of opened up a file here. We opened up employees.txt, which was just this text file that had a bunch of like, I don't know, employees and a company in it. And we basically stored that file inside this file variable. We could do all sorts of stuff with it. Now I want to talk to you guys about actually writing information to files. And the first thing I want to kind of talk to you guys about are the different file modes. So different ways that we can open up a file. You'll see over here, I'm passing in two arguments to this open method. I'm passing in the name of the file, obviously. But then over here, I have this little R and this is basically a file mode. So this kind of tells Ruby like, when we're opening the file, it kind of gives Ruby an idea of like what we want to be able to do with it, right? If I say R, this stands for read, but there's actually a bunch of other ones. So I'm going to head over here to my web browser and I'm just on a stack overflow page. And I think this actually gives a pretty good explanation of all the different file modes in Ruby. So you can see here, R is basically just read only starts at the beginning of the file. R plus is a read, write. Um, w is write only, it truncates the existing file. Uh, w plus is read write. So there's all these different like file modes that we can open up and this is a pretty cool list. You know, One thing that can be fun to do is just play around with a file and opening it in all these different modes just to kind of see what they do. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be opening the file in a couple of these different modes and I think it's gonna be pretty fun. So the first thing I wanna show you guys is how to append to a file. So over here I have my little list of employees, right? Let's say that I wanted to add an employee onto this file. And so I didn't want to modify any of the existing employees. I basically just wanted to append one to the bottom of the file. So we want to add in a new employee. Well, I can open up this file in what's called the append mode. So I'm just going to put an A here. And that basically means all we can do to this file is just add information onto the end of it. So we can't read from it. We can't write to it. Um, well, we can write to it, but we can only write at the end of the file. So we can just append something. So down here, what I could do is I could say file.write and inside of a parentheses, we can put whatever we want to write to the file. So why don't we try to add a new employee? So why don't we say we'll add Oscar who is in accounting. Basically what's going to happen is when I run this program, this line of text is going to get appended onto the end of the employees.txt file. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And now over here in the employees.txt file, you'll see we have this Oscar from accounting line, but it actually just got appended right onto the end of the file. So literally right after the last character. And I want to show you guys what we can do to mitigate that. So I'm just going to get rid of that and we're going to run this again. This time though, I'm going to run it with a new line in front. And basically what this will do is it'll go on to the next line and then it'll print Oscar from accounting. So now when I run the program, we should get what we want, which is this. So Oscar is just on the next line. Um, here's the thing, when you're appending to a file or really when you're writing to a file, you need to be careful because if I was to run this program again, so I'm just gonna run it again, and I go back over to this employees.txt file, you'll notice that Oscar got appended to the end of the file again, right? So every time you run your program, it's gonna keep modifying the file. Um, so you need to be careful whenever you're writing to files because you're modifying the actual file. So if you, you know, mess up and you run your program one too many times, then your files are basically going to be, you know, if not ruined, they're going to have information in there that you didn't want. So that is the basics of appending. You can just append something onto the end of the file. It's super simple, super straightforward, and that can be really useful um, in a lot of different scenarios. Another thing we can do is just write to the file. So instead of A, I'm going to say W here. And this basically gives us the ability to modify information in a file, overwrite information in a file, and also create new files, which is pretty cool. So over here, if I was to say file.write, and I just did Oscar accounting, now what this is gonna do is it's gonna overwrite this entire employees.txt file. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna run this, and you'll see over here, this has actually overwritten the entire file. So we've overwritten everything in this file. And that's basically what happens when we write to a file. So I'm actually gonna undo this and we'll bring this back to how it was. I wanna show you guys another thing we can do, which is when you're writing to a file, um, you can actually create new files. So for example, let's say I wanted to create a new file 
Um, I can actually come up here, put the name of the new file that I wanted to create. So maybe I'd want to create like an HTML file. I could call it index.html. Down here, I could actually write out some HTML into this new file. So I could say file.write and we can just put some, I mean, we can put like HTML, you know, whatever. So HTML is like another sort of programming language. And now what's going to happen is when I run this program, a new file called index.html is going to get created and this is actually going to get written into that file. So you'll see over here index.html has been created and it has a header one and it's just saying hello. So that's pretty cool. You can create all different types of files. You can use all different types of file extensions over here and that's, you know, a really useful way to create files. Another thing I want to show you guys is another file mode. So instead of just writing, we're actually going to read and write. So I'm just going to say R+. Plus. Basically what this means is we can read the file and we can write the file. And when we're doing stuff like this, it makes it really useful. So, okay, so we have all of our employees here. I can actually use some of the read methods that we learned in the last tutorial and some of the write methods in order to write information at specific points in the file. So for example, we could insert text at a specific point in the file. So I could say like file.readline and this is basically going to move to the next line in the file. So whenever you're reading a file, there's like something called a file cursor um, or you'll hear people call it like the, the file buffer sometimes. Basically, like it when we open the file, we start at a specific place in the file. So if you come back over here, you'll see like read read only starts at beginning of file, right? R plus read write starts at beginning of the file. So in certain times when we use these certain modes, they'll start at certain positions in the file, right? A little cursor or whatever. When I say file.readline, that moves that little cursor to the next line in the file, right? And so now essentially where this cursor is, is at the second line of the file. So I can come over here and I could say file.write and I could basically say like overridden. And now when I run this and I go over to my file and actually we got to change this back to employees.txt, my bad. So when I go back over to my file, you'll see that it says overridden down here, right? So I was able to override the text that was on that second line. I could even do the same just for parts of it. So if I just wrote out like high down here, you'll see that high is going to get inserted only in these first two positions, right? So you're just overriding like the positions um, right after that little cursor. And so that can be really you know, useful. And really you can use this read line and there's also another one called read char. And read char will just read like an individual character. So it'll move that cursor like one character. You can use these different functions to move that cursor around the file and insert text you know, in very specific places. And that, you know, you can just kind of play around with that to be able to do stuff like that. But I would say those are kind of the basics. You know, we learned how to create new files. We learned how to override existing files. We learned how to insert text into sp specific places and specific files. Um, and we learned about the different modes. So again, you know, go off research some of the different modes where you can open a file. But I would say really writing to files is extremely useful and there's a lot, lot, lot of programs that do stuff like this and rely on stuff like this. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.